Okay, so I'm back and we are here at my dresser. This is an old dumpster find actually. I've had it for a lot of years now and I'm hoping to maybe get an expedite or something someday, but money, money, money. So here I have a step uh, storage unit that my dad and I built together. It's just uh, made of wood and then I painted and stamped on it. And I used to have this for my miniature paints, but since my miniature paints have grown um, so much, they don't fit anymore. All that I want in them. So now this is a block stamp holder. So you can see I've just have some of my block stamps on them or mounted stamps. Underneath you have an old wooden IKEA, uh, uh, like a little dresser as well that I have changed. And I have, if you can see, taken some silver spoons, drilled holes in them, flattened them, and bent them the way I wanted to make handles for them. So here I have like tacky wax, I have photo corners, I have extra leads, extra pencils and stuff. In this one, I have die cuts or laser cut stuff that doesn't fit, or wooden decorations and stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else. Here I have, let's see if I can get it, I have miscellaneous, I have some uh, things to fasten things to the table, I have some little game markers and I have some alcohol pens extra backup alcohol pens. So in the middle drawer I just have some uh, paint brush that I use for cleaning stamps and I have some uh, um, index cards. And here we only get uh, like the striped ones so here I have my gel pens, also sorted by color and rubber banded. And in the bottom one, we have my drawing uh, kit. This is so old, I think this is probably 25 years old. Love it. Another one for cleaning stamps. Some backup erasers, some chalk backup scissors, staple removers, usually my staple, small, smaller staple ones are in there. I have some graphite here. I have some uh, calligraphy pens. Uh, yeah, backup staples. Stuff like that. In front of that one, for now anyways, my room changes a lot, is the pen holder I made. Uh, for my colored pens. Next to that I keep my Big Shot machine uh, and always having the plates in them for storage. And next to that I have this really old uh, like uh, tool, uh, screw, nut uh, sorter. And in this I have my metal thing in my jigs like f metal flowers, it really does not want to focus on this. Let's see if it can focus on this. It's too shiny. Shiny. See if I can get it. Uh, it. But so, see if I can get this maybe. Like metal corners and stuff for when I do books and stuff. So that's nice. And it's pretty big. It has a lot of Small drawers, some medium drawers, and a big drawer. And then we go to the four drawers in my drawer unit. Here is a little bit miscellaneous. I have my lung in use cutting plates. I have my uh, or my I have my long in use cutting plates. I used to have a cuttle bag that I also loved, especially storage wise. It takes up so little space. But I really like the big shot as well. So I'm still using my, because I really hate, I bloody hate these ones. They suck. Uh, they take up so much space. 
and the, the shims and stuff for the Cuttlebug works for the Big Shot as well, so I usually use them, and I'm trying to use up my Cuttlebug cutting mats. And I have my uh, thin die adapter. Uh, I have some texturizing plates. I have a... Uh, this is what I use to store some of my stamps in. I have some uh, self-adhesive vinyl that I use to put on my tiles in my kitchen and bathroom. And this is just a spare brush cleaner thingamajig. That works so-so, I have to say. Here, in the another top drawer, I have my old Cuttlebug dies. The semi-thick ones. I have some Quick Cuts dies, alphabets. I have my uh, Tim Holtz alterations. I have my one letter press. It does not... I have my extra uh, cutting plates and stuff. I have my strips, dies. I have miscellaneous quick cuts, cuttle kids, cuttle bug, uh, boss cut, dies, and my my uh, C6 tooling one, I think it's called. Next drawer is a bit of a miscellaneous drawer as well. Here is where I keep my alterable stuff, birdies, this is butcher wax paper, some plates for big projects on paint to paint, a uh, nice container, my static grass uh, applicator that I made, and the tray that goes for it, some sponges, and in the bottom drawer. I keep my dies and my embossing folders and my small cutting plates and stuff. So there in the corner I have shims, cutting plates, and since I used to have a cuttle bug I have quite a lot. And when I first started I bought an extra bottom plate. So I have an extra. Don't ask me why, I didn't know I shouldn't have one extra. Some paint stir sticks, some plastic mugs for when I do gypsum and stuff, some wax paper, my art bin, art storage where I keep most of my thin dies, my movers and shapers, my wet palette uh, containers, my bigs dies, uh, an extra paint cup and that uh, brush scrubby thingy, my Embossing folders. Here I have some on the edge dies and some thin lit dies that are like the sets of words. The these are the crazy birds or bird crazies. So that's that drawer. Oh, and as you saw, coffee filters. And I use all space in my room. So underneath here, I have containers. So here I have some plastic bins for when I'm working on projects. I have this pot lid holder. Also for when I'm working on like big projects, making an album and stuff. I have these ones that are for when I'm uh, having more people over. Uh, for like putting stencils in and carrying stuff in. And here's just a bunch of old water-based markers that I'm thinking of making into uh, sprays and this one you saw so okay I'm gonna stop now and uh, go on to another part of the room see you in a bit bye